Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. As you could see, I'm running Etherape, which is a network graphical representation or a graphical representation of the network, the network traffic that is happening at this moment. So um, let me stop this and I'm going to tell you about what it is, how to install it and how to use it or how useful it can be. So I'm going to stop this. So um, Etherape is a utility that is part of the Ghost uh, utility within Kali Linux. Um, actually, I'm running Parrot, but you could install that utility in any uh, Linux based operating system. Um, I'm going to have the instructions right in the description, but it's pretty simple uh, what you need to do. Actually, let me close this because I had it open. Uh, close terminal. So uh, what you need to do if you have a, uh, a current version of Linux, most likely you already have installed Python 3. But if you don't, you need to install Python 3, then uh, you should have installed uh, either Rape. But if you don't, here's how to install it. This is the, the GitHub repository to get Ghost Dive from right here. I'm going to leave all this in the instructions. And then once you do that, just go into the directory. Uh, install the requirements and run Python 3 and fire the uh, application and there you go. So I already have it installed so I'm not going to go through that but it's super simple. I'm going to leave these instructions um, in, the, in the description so you could do it uh, in your own time. But uh, why use um, Ghost Eye, right? Ghost Eye is going to offer uh, many different um, utilities you could use in your day-to-day IT best practices, right? So let me get to it and then I'll show you um, what I'm talking about and then you see how useful it is and you know you may be able to start using this in your environment. Right now I installed this in my root directory so I'm gonna get right into it then I'm gonna go so as you could see, it's got different, like many Linux-based utilities, it's got different um, options for you to choose from. I'm going to concentrate on Etherape right now, which is the graphical network monitoring tool. And I'm going to do uh, one here. I'm going to hit enter. And this is not what I meant. I'm going to do one and enter. And as you could see, it automatically opens a graphical network representation or a graphical representation of the network traffic. Now, something you have to keep in mind, this graphical representation is based on the network traffic that is going to and from my computer. My IP address is 172.16.5.175. And as you can see, I have different connections to different hosts. Now, this is just, um, it, it looks fancy, it looks pretty, you know, like anyone walking by your desk is going to be, oh my God, that looks kind of pretty, right? Like new art is going to look impressive. But if, if you don't have use for that, it is, it's, it's worthless. So how do you use this in your day-to-day -day tasks? And why will this help you with your IT best practices, right? Uh, number one, it's going to help you monitor network traffic. But again, like in this case, I'm monitoring my own network traffic, which, you know, it may be good, it may not be good. But if you are managing a network, you would like to have a, a broader picture of what's happening, not only what's happening on one specific computer. So in that case, you would have to maybe uh, do port spanning or mirror uh, the ports that you want to capture this. And again, why is this useful? Because it... Uh, color codes protocol communications for you uh, for instance like these uh, color right here right uh, as you could see uh, no, actually no, I'm not going to show that so let me show you this right here let me open a uh, this a new terminal okay and I'm going to uh, for that to the to the two so as you could see I'm 
I'm pinging 4.2.2, .2, which, which is using ICMP. And that protocol is color coded. So it's going to be easier for me as, as a network engineer or administrator to spot uh, the different protocols uh, that are happening in the communication. And you could see that option right here from uh, from the protocol section. I mean, this is for you to see the protocol, but from the preferences, you could add different colors to different protocols, and that's going to be easier for you to identify what's, what's happening. And, and that's how this application comes into place uh, and become useful, right? Because you're going to be able to, to concentrate on what you're looking for. And it's pretty cool. Um, let me uh, pause this right here. You could come here and and select the different uh, interfaces that you would like to do the capture on, or if you would like to concentrate on the type of uh, protocols, be it IP, or if you just want to do TCP, uh, you can also select that here, right? And, and here you're going to see the uh, TCP communication. So, uh, and you could uh, see the different nodes, the back and forth. So, th to be honest, th this is not unique. Uh, you could get a lot of this information with Wireshark, or you could get a lot of this information with Nmap or perhaps similar information. But um, either way, somehow makes it easier to, to the eye to understand. So th that's why I'm bringing this tool, I'm introducing this tool to my channel because I see it as something useful, something that doesn't take a lot of knowledge or, or, or a lot of or a lot of your time. It's pretty straightforward. You, you come in here, span a port, uh, set a, a, a color for the protocol that you're looking for and bang, you'll see it right there. So um, again, this is one of the many tools w within the ghost eye uh, suite and I, I believe this is useful. I hope that it, it is useful to you too and uh, just leave a comment if, if it is and or if you have any trouble with the um, with the installation. And again, this is uh, IT best practices. I would really appreciate if you leave a, uh, if you click on the like button or if you leave a, a comment, a positive comment, or if something that you didn't like, let me know so I improve future videos. But if you click on the like button, that's gonna help me uh, rank better within the uh, YouTube ecosystem and, and, and keep sharing information. You have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.